are looking live at one of the grandest scenes in all of sport, the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. As we welcome you to the Rose Bowl game presented by City, it is USC versus Michigan. It's an old fashioned Rose Bowl. It's the Pac-10 against the Big Ten. And the weather, as we've said, is absolutely glorious. Welcome everybody and Happy New Year. Said here come the Trojans. at the goal line. Short of the 20 yard line and so Kirk. He has his choice run or pass much of the game after he sees the alignment. And here comes their heart and soul. Mike Hart for 11 yards on his first carry of the game. Michigan offense now big Jake Long he came out you saw him one of the co-captains a junior he could go to the NFL but he's announced he's coming back next year zone blocking those of you who haven't followed the Wolverines it means you won't see pulling guards and of course Mike Hart has already carried one the junior from Syracuse and again it is Mike carrying it rush in and a drop back linebacker and there he is a little bit of a hip injury. But the one that Pete Carroll's most concerned about is Dallas Sarts, number 42. Can he hold up? And in that secondary, the corners, Harrison Thomas, they know that Manningham and Bruston will be coming before long. On second down. And Henny is taken down by Cushing, number 10. Third down of 14 now for Henny and the Wolverines. Incomplete Michigan forced the punt. They came after him. No flag. Desmond Reed buried at the 35 yard line. UCLA was able to route him with pressure. You know Michigan is going to try to do the same exact thing. So they run it right straight ahead with CJ Gable, the freshman running back. We take a look at this offense. Now, Sam Baker. And Kyle Williams, their two tackles, they had a lot of difficulty with the speed rushers from UCLA the last time out. Alan Bradford will see action at fullback, and there is Big Dwayne Jarrett. You can see him. So they, the Wolverines, have decided to chase with that secondary. Second down and six. Again, keeping it on the ground, and big hit by Jamar Adams. Defensively, Lamar Woodley. Senior defensive end from Saginaw, Rondell Biggs, hoping to put on heat. And they got to help that time. David Harris, their leading tackler. And there is Woodley, number 56. And in that secondary, folks, Willis Berenger, who went out of the game in Columbus with an injury. Jamar, you just saw in action. Berenger for Chauncey Washington in for the first time as the tailback for the Trojans. Booty rolling hard to the right on the move throws to Jarrett for the first down and Trent pushes him out of bounds. Throwing straight back deflected bobble incomplete out of bounds on the second down and ten. Screen. Well read. Harris Davis the tight end flexed well off the line of scrimmage to the right on third and long for Booty. Fires high and incomplete. Tried to maintain with the intensity in practice. Here's Wade next first punt. Takes a USC bounce if they can get to it into the end zone. It'll come out on the 20 yard line. USC song girls are ready now. Their defense is on the field. Here's Henny on a play fake. 
rolling hard to the right with a completion out of bounds. Here comes Hart. Not this time. Third down coming up. Let's meet. Oh, wow. <laughs> Third down and six now. Here's Henny. And his receiver trip. Under enormous pressure. Fair catch this time. And Reed will let it bounce out of bounds at the, about the 41 42 yard line. Gable and now Bradford is in the game as the fullback. Gable cuts to a hole close to midfield on first down. John David with John watching for the stand. Quick completion putting it at Jared's hands but not much doing over there. John Crable checks into this defense it was a first down play fake. Booty rolling hard to the right going deep downfield got a man broken up at the last instance by Willis Berenger. Second and ten. Draw play to Gable swallowed. This Michigan defense number one in the country in third down defense. Straight back Jarrett. Snatches it down right in front of Morgan Trent, and it's a USC first. Mike Brittingham in as the fullback. Looking right at him, coming out of the backfield, got him. He crosses the 20 yard line. Washington in as the tailback. Booty going to keep it in the air. Incomplete, fired high. This is second down and 10. And Gable can't get past the defensive line. That this is how the Buckeyes burn that defense. They spread the field. They go empty. Five targets on third down. Booty short drop. Jarrett and lost the ball, but I believe he was down. Yes, he's marked down. And so Mario Daniello is on the field here. This will be a 26-yarder. Trying to put SC ahead. And on a perfect day, he's right down the middle. Trojans lead it by a field goal. It's the 93rd Rose Bowl game presented by City. Deep drive. He'll take, let this one go out of the end zone. The BCS went to LSU as they defeated Oklahoma. In New Orleans. 344 now. Quick snap to the outside. And on that far side, Mario Manningham with best moves on that second move on a route as any receiver in the country. Hart back in the game with Will Paul as his fullback. And he wants to put it up on the second down. Got his first down, snapped it off to go down on one of the better defensive ends in the Pac-10. Two tight ends running formation for Hart again behind Jake Long and this time Cedric Ellis Arrington is the wide receiver to the left Henny wants to throw the dump it off to Hart in underneath Henny changes it up he's given a lot of freedom that's how much he understands the offense and the other team's defense. He'll throw to Breston in underneath for the first down. And a dozen yards for the passing game. First down and 10 for the Wolverines, their most impressive drive of the afternoon. Sarts sacks him down at the 44 yard line. Breston is now slotted to the left on second down and long. Here comes Hart stopped at the 45. The Rose Bowl game presented by City reaches the end of the first quarter. It's 3 nothing USC and we'll return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. All right now they face a third and 16. Three wide receivers. And he steps away from the pressure fires down the middle got his first down I believe. Mario Manningham and voided the zone in behind him. He threw it in behind him. The, the freshman Brandon Miner from Richmond, Virginia checks in and nothing much doing. Mike Hart returns as the Michigan running back. 
Arrington's the motion receiver. Deep drop in trouble has to try and drop it off incomplete. In zone. Knocked away. Arrington was the intended target. Fourth <laughs> down now. Garrett Rivas for a 43 yarder to tie it. And with the fans from Michigan watching, he knots the score with 13.35 to go in the first half. Michigan and USC, the 93rd Rose Bowl game presented by City. Check they had the right to do that. <laughs> Here's a kickoff now, and uh, it is fielded at the four by Gable, the freshman. Looking for daylight. Makes a fine return to the 33 yard line. First down and 10. Deadlock. John David Booty, their junior quarterback. He'll be back next year. So many of the stars on these two teams will be back next year. That's why many of the experts across the country fully believe second down and nine after the run by Gable. Jarrett again in front of Leon Hall. Steve Smith lined up in the backfield. They use him as a, uh, a decoy, and they lined up Alan Bradford, the fullback. Play fake Gable. Middle and hung on to. Beautiful catch by Chris McFoy. First down. Went right straight ahead into the heart of that Wolverine defense. Yep. Four wide thrown behind the receiver. And saw that, saw that with Mike Williams. He wasn't ready. Third down and eight. Slant for the first down in Williams' case. John Davis in trouble. Fumble. Ball loose. Wolverines have got it. And that is Big Allen Branch. We just had our first turnover of this game. Neither team has a penalty. And the running game unable to get it going. And Clay Matthews is in the game. The sophomore. Second down. Henny's in trouble. Sacked again. Pushing back on the field. Need 15 on this third down. Steps up, fires, and he's got his first down in the middle of the field. Breston. So a 22 yard gain for the Wolverines and a deep drop under pressure. Sacked again. Third time he's been sacked today. This time by Terrell Thomas. Let me correct myself. That's the fourth. I had forgotten the Sartre sack also earlier. So that was the fourth sack of the game. Second down and 18 for Henny of the Wolverines. Minor going nowhere. Third down and long. <laughs> Needs 15 yards. Needs to reach the Wolverine 48. Instead, the fifth sack of the game. This one by Ellis. Desmond Reed awaits a return. They should have good field position, so they really don't put an all-out press on it. Desmond's got it with his 29-yard line for the Trojans. To the sideline where... He is stopped. First down and 10 for John David Booty and the Trojans. Coming with Gable on first down, trying to run the ball. Quick step to Jarrett. Jarrett breaking free of Morgan Trent for a couple of additional yards. Well, certainly on their defense with those five sacks, Coach, huh? <laughs> First down and 10, and uh, here's the handoff to the freshman. Not much doing there. Washington, and here's the running back. That's Smith going through the formation, and here comes Washington. Ran up the back of his own man because I'll tell you what, Branch is just blowing them up. What Still. a nice man. Uh, Gerald Ford used to come around ball game. He was such a nice man. John David Booty, far side incomplete. No receiver down there. Look lost. One thing that's been good so far has been the tackling by both these teams. Moydneck uh, does not get off a good punt. And it's going to be down at the 26 yard line. 
Two thirteen to go here in the first half. First down and ten. Reaching for the handoff. Here's Hart, who's had very little running rooms. Empty. Throw it to Preston. Short of the first down marker. The third down and two. Here's Hart. Won't get it. Blown up first by Kerry Harris, the corner. To punt again. Booms this one. And Reed signals early for a fair catch. I think USC may just run this thing out. And they did. They didn't like their field position. They did just that, Coach. C.J. Gable, the freshman running back. So I don't believe I've seen a half in a long time. We didn't have uh, a single penalty in this game, folks. We had a couple of field goals. We also didn't have a single touchdown. <laughs> but trust me, it'll get explosive in the second half here before this one's done. Five sacks resulted in 33 yards of losses. So stay tuned for the Pontiac Performance Halftime Show with John Saunders, Craig James, and Doug Flutie after this message and a word from our ABC stations. And so Garrett Revis with the ball on the tee, the sun starting to set here in Pasadena. And this will come out on the 20 yard line for Patrick Turner as the third wide out along with Steve Smith. So three wide for the Trojans. And they will put it up on first down. Smith coming through the formation. And he's run out of bounds. Roll Gable. the football. Gable is the tailback. Trying to get the first down. And uh, Michigan defense, very stout, power fullback formation here. And then he'll lead the way for Gable. And the Wolverines jump the play at the point of attack. The sophomore goes unrecognized. Boydneck punts it and Bruston. Fair catch signal at the 31 yard line and he is in a deep set you can see behind Chad Henney. They're going to try him right away. A little bit of a gash his longest. Him out in this offense out. Manningham's off to the left they're going to run hard again. Got the first down. They're going to keep it on the ground. You know, needing eight yards on a play fake under pressure wanted the screen throws a pick USC ball at the 39 yard line is Lawrence Jackson during halftime that he had to get rid of the ball he rushed that one a little bit first down and 10 now for John David Booty off a play fake completes it to Smith Allen Bradford is up for the Trojans. Play fake booty rolls hard to the right throws in underneath and picks up the first down with Bradford straight back throws to the big man first and goal Dwayne Jarrett at the two yard line That is uh, didn't like after the news. further review the, the play stands is called on the field first down if we stay another year we we'll, might be be next year anyway here comes John David Booty wide open touchdown nothing doing as McCoy McFoy Chris McFoy rolls wide open for the touchdown. Breakdown and coverage that time. Slips it inside the post. So the afternoon's first touchdown boosts the Trojans to a seven point lead, 10 3, 8 43 remaining in the third quarter. He's handled the kickoff duties today for USC. High and short. Here comes Preston from the 12. Surrounded short of the 20 yard line. Chad Henney changing it at the line. Running Hart. And there was Mawaluga as we incidentally, Dallas Sartz, number 42, is back on the field. He missed most of the second quarter. 
Here's Hart. And he is being taken down by Keith Rivers, the junior. Then he and the Wolverines need to get beyond the 30. In trouble, under pressure, incomplete, and it could have been picked off. Here's Reed from the 40. Penalty, illegal block was thrown. During the return, number 30, blocking the back by the offensive team. That's a 10 yard penalty, first down. Where, oh, where does the time go? Well, first down and 10 now for the Trojans. They lead it by a touchdown and they have done it. Jarrett juggles that one incomplete. And you can. Offside, number 67, by contact, five yard penalty, still second down. Second down and five for the Trojans. There's a play fake, there's Booty rolling again. Throwing in underneath, picking up Davis for another first down. And there is no question. It's a bunch of different things that have added up to a lot. Under pressure, hit on the release, incomplete. The short drop, Smith on the snap, runs those precise routes, breaks free. 35 30, brought down from behind at the 21 yard line, Leon Hall. Now it's Booty's turn to change it up. Washington's his running back. <laughs> On the slant, touchdown USC, Jarrett. Here's a memo to Keyshawn. That'll work in the <laughs> NFL, too. And how about the check by John David Booty, Michigan straight man to man, and he just went. Danello misses this one off to the right. 16 3 on the missed extra point. So here is Jarrett breaking free. Eight catches, 105 yards, and now a touchdown. Pete Carroll and the Trojans are dominating suddenly. John David Booty is in his comfort zone right now. Ten passes and only two runs. So here comes Bruston. Wolverines need something good to happen right here. He vaults to the 21 yard line. Started about three weeks ago. Chad Henney. Reaches now to Mike Hart. Back on the left side to the 25. Second and six. Henny sees the blitz are coming. Steps away from the pressure. Drops it in underneath. And Manningham to the 41 yard line. First down and 10 now for the Wolverines. There's that quick strike over to the side. Pick up a couple of yards, but. Uh, that means they're going to run it, right? <laughs> no, nope. Arrington's down there. Fumble on the sack. Jumping in over the top. SC recovered it. No question. He's about to bring in what he thinks is his best recruiting class ever. As John David Booty throws a strike. Almost one handed by Jarrett. Had the left mid on it. Now, second and 10 for John David. Drops it off in the flat. He overthrows. And was it a lateral? Third and ten. Complete short of the first down marker. I have five targets for John David. And it's straight man to man coverage across the board. And he keeps it himself. So John David Booty, first down and ten. Never thought he was going. He keeps telling me he's not going. That that's what he's telling everybody. And uh, play fake in trouble and uh, incomplete. So it'll be second. Uh, it, it is really different when you go to a Pete Carroll coach practice, and he really enjoys this. High incomplete. Third down and ten. John David. Firing middle, strike to the nine yard line and a first down. Empty again. High and incomplete. And with this talented freshman class, he said every job will be up for grabs, including the quarterback, no matter what happens. Throws incomplete. Third down and goal. John David Booty with the backfield empty. 
Touchdown. No. Wave it off. Thought he had it for a second. I thought Jarrett was going to grab it. So here's Danello's field goal attempt. Remember, he just missed an extra point. This is a 26 yarder. Slips this one through. 19 3. Trojans lead it. A quarter. And I mean, they're tapping away right now. <laughs> <laughs> They're listening to you tapping you know, away. <laughs> you know what? I, I'm not it. really worried about the bloggers. Trailing by 16. And he rolls out and comes underneath to his tight end. He blasted up. Here's second down and seven for the Wolverines. Preston for a first down to the 35. First down and 10. Any Manningham nine more yards and pushed up. Second down and one. And he slips, steps away, can run for the first down, slides into it and takes a lift from Cushing. One quarter to go. For Chad Henney in Michigan. Trailing by 16. Now the Rose Bowl game presented by City returns after this message and a word from our ABC stations. But here in the second half, USC has taken over. Mike Hart has been held to 42 yards, and now basically he's a blocker for Henney. And again into the hands of Tyler Ecker. Comes into play working a no huddle offense with so much time still to go. Short of the first down. On third and two, wide open. Ecker for the first and ten battles his way to the 23 yard line. Roughing the passer, number 42 in the defense. Half the distance to the goal to the end of the run. First down. End zone. Hanging on. Touchdown, Adrian Arrington. Finally, they get the ball into Arrington's hands, and it's for a touchdown. I believe they'll go for two here. The signal from the sideline. They're going to go for two. Starts Arrington in motion. It's Hart. Bust the first tackle. Got it. Game on. And I tell you, it's a chess game. He checked to that run because of the look of the USC defense. Well, this is what Michigan needed to spark themselves to get back into the game. Chad Henney leads them right down the field, making some big throws, and they get the two-point conversion from Michael Hart. Back to within one score here. Ball on the tee for Rivas. And here we go. Picked off by Gable, the running back. There's Hood pulling him down at the 26. We check in. Yeah, exactly, Bonnie. And right now, John David Booty will try to keep the chains moving. Just right at the chain. And a Wally in at fullback. Play fake. Booty, as he was going out of bounds, throws it downfield in uh, third and one. John David. Play fake. Got all the time in the world. Gable underneath, and Harris said nowhere to go. Second and ten. Deflected incomplete, and now it is third and ten. And Booty deep, Jarrett, the foot race for the end zone. Ten five, score it. Sixty two yards on a third down. It was a dead ball, personal foul, number 19 of the defense. That penalty will be administered on the succeeding kickoff. Touchdown. 
have seen the last of our young man Daryl Jarrett in college football game. Well, that was an ugly looking extra point attempt. He pulled this one over to the left. He's missed his second one now. Wow. He has missed a couple of extra points. One to the right and one to the left. And that was like me trying to hit a golf ball, trying to guide that thing. Jarrett to the end zone on third and 10, 62 yards. Pete Carroll going down the sideline. Because of the penalty, kicking off from midfield, and the Beeler will nail this one almost a souvenir. 25 11, back on a 14. USC's missed two extra points, and now it is second down. And get the big score. Throwing to his tight end, Tyler Ecker. Those two 50 plus yard touchdown runs in Columbus that we saw. Oh, oh, and now oh. they come right back with a big one of their own with Ecker. And he's got a first down at the Trojans, 39. 36 yards, and that gives Ecker a 78 yard afternoon. And here comes Mike Hart. Picking up a couple more in the Pacific Network as we come to the top of the hour. And he fires oh. complete Manningham. First down at the 20 yard line. Gave him time to throw. He'll find an open receiver. Screen set up with Hart. Nothing doing. They lose five. For these blitzes by USC than they were in the first half. They're a little bit tired. In underneath. And not even back at the original line of scrimmage. At Third down. And it'll be fourth down. Trailing by 14 with 8-11 to go. Now down 14 with 8-11. They've got to go for it on fourth 11. Need to reach the 10-yard line for a first down and they turn it over. Can Preston get it? He slips and he's down. Down at the 15, five-yard short USC football. Now John David Booty and the offense will see if they can eat away some precious minutes here. Pump fake near side Smith grabs it out of bounds. They weren't working the clock they were firing for 26 yards and here he comes again. Jared again at the 30 yard line and he hands it to Behringer. Ball is at the 30 yard line. Play fake. Near side. And Davis brings it in. Inside the 10 yard line. Last three pass plays 26, 29, and 23 yards, giving the Trojans first and goal. Under pressure, touchdown. Smith. John David Booty being picked up with a huge smile on his face. Here's Danello. Tax it on this time. <laughs> it's a relief for the young man. <laughs> well, John David Booty, I said he's going to go to work on the clock. He went to work instead on yardage. Four for four, 85 yards, and another touchdown pass. There are 28 passes and four runs in the second half, the USC offense. You called it. They had to pass. They're a passing team. They've done a fabulous job on Preston, too. Brandon Miner stays in the game, so Mike Hart over there on the sideline. Going down the far side, incomplete. He overthrew Manningham, and Pops was telling me he had a tough time getting over the UCLA loss but about four days he said before he came out of his funk kept wondering what he could have done differently and uh, there's Manningham pushed out of bounds on the far side by it just closed the gaps completely with this SC D line and linebackers. We wondered which team would overcome the severe disappointment of UCLA on the field but the Trojans came ready to play here today especially on defense There's a drop pass by the Wolverine. 
It's tough not to imagine them up at number one. Not just returning. I want to show you some of their draft. Not draft folks, but the uh, fellows who've committed verbally incomplete. They played 15 true freshmen this year. <laughs> Third and 10. Stepping up and. Uh, Fielded at the 30 yard line, and that's Reed. To the 40, you are left to wonder. And you can make your own conclusions. With 5.10 to go, the championship down in Glendale next Monday. And the key guy has. He had a chance to get the ball thrown to him today, and he also had a great game. Bradford is in as the running back. He throws over his head. We check in down below with sounds the to, Sounds like a heavy lean. Oh. Goodbye. And there is the young man, Alan Bradford. They have the luxury of having Pete Carroll, a coach who they really trust his opinion. Woodley closing in and down goes John David Booty. So, Mark Sanchez, we get to take a look at the young man. And remember what we told you despite this great performance 391 yards, four touchdowns, and no interceptions. The young man here, the freshman from Mission Viejo, California, and it is third down and 15. Here is the toss play with Bradford, and he would like to have stayed in bounds, but he ran out with it. Kind of used to doing it. I think they were early, though. I think that's why all of a sudden opened some things up. Delay foul against the they, offense, snapping the ball. I think they were ready to play. Early. That's a five-yard penalty. He didn't show up to play. Out of bounds. Preston. He stays in bounds. That's a heck of a statement right there. Isn't it though? What a great feeling for mom, huh? Raising those youngsters. Preston played a little quarterback. Second down and ten. Henny. The third straight year. It's a completely different lifestyle for the head coach based on whether you win the ball or lose the ball in the offseason. The strike. Uh, when Brantley uh, decommitted from Texas to go to Florida, there was talk that the Horns might go after him. Now, they probably did. Just checked in. As, uh, you know, Lefty Brazil's great comment. Second and ten. Juggling Preston. 10 yard line, five for the corner. Yeah. Got the touchdown. And that's why Steve Breston will get a long <laughs> look in the yeah, NFL. That's 41 yards, folks. And that's some major speed right there. That's man to man. <laughs> Revis tacks on the extra point. There's a penalty flag. They perhaps weren't ready. For Pete Carroll, and that uh, they certainly dismissed him too early. Remember, he was up there for a few years. Had the that was good. everything's going right. <laughs> it's, that's right. <laughs> they didn't fumble the jug. Gable back in. He stays in bounds. Well, guys, we've had a great season, haven't we? Oh, it's been great. We have seen some big time ball games now. We're ready for next year. Thirty-two to eighteen. And of course, coming up, we're going to have that Bill Ford Tough post game. They have interviews, the trophy presentation to the Trojans. John David Booty, the winning quarterback, 27 of 45 for 391 yards, 205 of them to Dwayne Sheriff. We'll wrap it up as we continue.